It's another beautiful day for a driveway repair. Does anybody want to guess what we're doing here? I can't believe this. This is the third time this has happened right here in my shop. Anybody recognize what's going on? Lift that hose up. Look at that broken radiator neck. Jerson came out here to check something on the car. We're working on a new tool. He leaned up against the top radiator hose and it just broke off. Now you talk about dodging a bullet. So we've dodged three bullets right here at the shop, three cars where we've been working on them and the radiator neck has just broken off. Can you imagine if this happened when you're driving down the freeway? So we're doing a permanent repair here. I have a kit on my website with the proper glue and all the instructions on how to safely repair this broken radiator neck. We actually have two kits. I advise you to reinforce the radiator neck before it breaks. We call this blood priority in aviation when I was flying, you know, they say you don't change until somebody gets hurt. Well, this is blood priority for a car. Don't wait until your radiator neck breaks on your older Mercedes. So what do you think? It's going to be better than your radiator. That's probably true. Save, save a big box right here. <laughs> Place the radiator plus the cost. <laughs> Reinforcing that neck with this piece of metal is probably better than new because it's never going to break again. And as a side note, for those of you who've asked this question before, I've never seen this happen to the lower radiator neck. It's always the top. And I think that's primarily due to the heat. The heat rises in the radiator. This is a real hot section of the radiator. The reason these radiator necks break is twofold. Number one, using the improper coolant. And number two, over tightening the hose clamp on a consistent basis. Don't we just love driveway repairs? Uh, yeah, particularly here at the shop on a nice sunny day like it is here in May. But boy, if this happens on the open road on a cold winter day and you've got radiator coolant running all over the ground, uh, it's gonna be a sad day indeed. So be sure and check out our radiator neck repair kit so this never happens to you. I'll just put links in the description of this video below. I'm just curious, Jerson, can you tell our viewers why in the world you broke that radiator neck in the first place? What was going on here? Well, I tried to test this uh, glow plug remover and I just lean over the hose and then finally I see some water leaking and then I check it out. Then the radiator neck was broken. <laughs> that tool is going to help you get the glow plug wire nuts off and to get the glow plugs out of your diesel engine without having to remove the hard lines, right? Yes, oh, it's gonna be this, easy. It's gonna be easy, good job.